guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a meet my pets video as you already probably know. I also wanted to say at 100 subscribers I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I have no clue what I'm going to be giving away or anything but I just know I'm going okay, to Okay so for the first animal slash pet I'm going to be showing you is um, my two betters. One's female and one's male and I've also got three black tetras so I'm, I also have a load of fish downstairs but those are like in a massive tank and they're quite hard to show you so I'm not going to show you them in this video I might do it in another video I don't know so so this is my first tank this is a four gallon I think I think it's four gallon tank yeah and uh, this is Jeff my I think it's called like oh you can see my case in the glass well that's not good um, he is a I think he's like a ringtail I don't know something tail type of better and he is obviously living separate to the female because we don't want baby betters because they'll probably end up eating each other but somewhere oh there's one there is these are the black tetras one there one there and i think there's one behind the rock somewhere but there is definitely three in there so this is my first four gallon tank second i think two and a half three gallon tank we're not too sure we haven't actually checked it or anything we just bought it from a pet shop um and this is bob i have no clue what type of better she is but she's a type of better anyway she does not have a good cage cage she does not have a good tank it has one little thing that she can hide in but um we're gonna get some rocks for the bottom and maybe we might actually fully upgrade the tank to a bigger one we're not sure what we're gonna do but we're definitely gonna make it much nicer and more comfortable for her and these are both i think i don't know how long betters typically live for but these are old and they're both doing really well so that's good okay so now we're on to the cute small fluffy things so this is flop she's refusing to come out she's now sleeping um she is a fat tailed gerbil she is three years old and she's extremely kind but she does not want to come out so I'll see if I can try to get her out now. Okay, so I've got her out, and as you can see, these are fat tailed gerbils. So they have fat tails, and these tails, it's like, you know, a camel's hump, right? They like store fat in their hump, it's the same, but with these guys' tails. So they don't really like their tails being touched, but Flop's very kind, and she's a bit nervous, because she's not often up here. Because right now we're in the games room, and I'll see if I can this is her adorable face, the lighting isn't too good, but hey ho. She's a bit nervous, but that's fine. This is so, Flop used to have a sister, but she sadly passed away. She used to be called Flip, so it was Flip and Flop, but now it's just Flop. And we got Flop two new babies, like really young. We were hoping Flop would mother the babies and then Flop could have some friends, because they obviously need to be like in pairs or groups or something. So, but Flop hates the babies now, so she's lonely, but she's fine with being, she's fine being lonely, so, yeah. And this is her bed, it's a rocket, and she loves it, and there's a sock in there, so. This is Flop, the fat tail gerbil. That's not happy with me, because I woke up. Okay, now we've got the two that Flop rejected. These are Bubble and Squeak. As you can tell, Squeak is the bigger, fatter, and lazy one, and Bubbles is a calm, nice, active one. So yeah, big difference there. Squeak bites, Bubbles doesn't. So I'm not taking favourites or anything, but I'm just saying. So these two are fat-tailed gerbils like the others. They both have fat, <laughs> fat tails and a lazy leg. Um, these guys are, I think these guys are two, no, 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 these guys are one and a bit, yeah, these guys are one and a bit years old, we got some of the same breeder as Flop actually, and we got these guys really, really young, like you're younger than you should, because we were hoping that Flop would obviously take care of them, but she didn't, she just decided to attack them, and now we have two extra ones that we weren't expecting to have, we're hoping to have all of them in one big cage but obviously you have to have two separate cages now so slightly annoying because it 
days of low rent, but anything to make them happy. And these guys, I didn't wake these guys up. These guys were digging and attacking and playing with their toys, but they still don't want to be out right now. She needs, she could move if she wanted to, but Bubbles is kicking her off this hand, so yeah. So these are Bubbles and Squeak. <laughs> the two lazy ones, okay. Okay, so now we've got Wally. Wally is a Russian Dwarf Winter White Albino. God, you're a lot Wally, aren't you? Wally is Albino, so obviously has red eyes, and most hamsters don't have good eyesight anyway, and Albino don't have good eyesight, so Russian Dwarf and Albino. So Wally has really bad eyesight. So he basically, he's basically blind, but not quite. Um, I woke him up, so he's quite tired and sleepy. In the past, Wally has had a scent gland infection, which is where their centre, their scent gland, which is in the middle of their tummy, got really infected, so he couldn't have a sand bath or anything. And Wally has also had trouble opening his eyes they can get a lot of eyes and ear infections if they're albino so they're quite immune to stuff like that but overall he's gotten over most of those things and he's doing really well wally is phew, wally is like two two years old two and a bit so wally is old but he still has a long way to go i think He's all white. When we first got him, we got him from the adoption centre in the pet shop. He was mainly brown with a tiny bit of white, but now as he's gotten older, he's got him fully brown. Oh, fully brown? No, he hasn't got him fully brown. He's got him fully white, like a proper albino. Um, I woke him up, so I'm going to put him back in his little hut, which he loves his hat. Well, I'm gonna put Wally back because he starts to get quite anxious and starts to bite and poop everywhere, so. Okay, so now we have Dumbo, Dumpling, and Delilah, AKA the 3Ds. Um, I'll get one of them out. This is Delilah, which is another albino. And these guys are fan, I was gonna say fancy mice, no they're not. These guys are just regular mice. We thought they were fancy mice, they were selling them as fancy mice, but it turns out they ran out of those, so we got normal mice. And Delilah is very active right now. Um, these guys are, we, I would say, two months old now. Could be older, could be younger. Okay, so that's Delilah. We'll get the other two, if I can. If I can get them. Okay, Delilah is white, Dumpling is black, and Dumbo is brown, but this is Dumpling. Oh, just pooped on me, thanks. Um, Dumpling is the more cautious, more cautious one, I would say. Delilah is the more active, hyper, exciting one, but Dumpling and Delilah, Dumpling, no, I can't even get them over up, but Dumpling and Dumbo are quite cautious. Dumpling. And I'll see if I can find a bow somewhere. They're in a travel pen. It's not really a travel pen, it's more like a taming pen. Because I'm in the course of taming them, they're quite good. But yeah, this is Dumbo being very awkward. And the lighting isn't too good because you can't really tell the difference between the colour that well. But Dumbo has the biggest ears by far. And Dumbo is more cautious than Dumpling, definitely. So these guys are the 3Ds, they're two weeks old, two weeks old, I wish, two months old, I meant to say. And they are quite new, they're not the newest to our family, but they're quite new. They're the second newest to our family. So it's the 3Ds, and right now, they're in this big, tub box thing obviously their cage is much bigger and obviously isn't so enclosed for them but there's lots of there's 
step lap in there, some toys in there, and I just use this because it's more room and it's like the full top is open, so it's easier for me to get in and it's just easier for me in lots of different ways. And they like new environment, new smells, new toys. So yeah, I just put them in there a couple times a day and tame them or train them or give them treats or just let them out for a run. So yeah, that's just really okay. Easy. So next, well now, I have the two craziest, skittish, kind of the scaredest ones out of them all, and they're Mist and Peanut. Now Mist and Peanut, we got from a pet shop. I thought the door was open. Uh, Mist and Peanut we got from a pet shop that weren't too good, they didn't like treat them well, they never handled them at all, it was like, it wasn't a proper pet shop, it was just a house that sold pets, uh, nothing, they didn't even ask if you had a cage or anything, they just said, oh yep, here you go, and because they'd never been handled before, they were scared, they were terrified, so we have been working with them a lot, but they're still not just there yet, but they're there, sort of. And they've just both gone into the coconut hut. And then that's Misty's face poking out. Hello. See so if we can get peanut. Misty, you stay in. Okay, Misty doesn't want to stay in. Okay. Right. Misty's out, so we'll just show you Misty a bit more. This is Misty. And you can tell when they're scared that their tail just sticks up and it doesn't touch the ground. This is Misty. Misty doesn't bite. Misty headbutts. And Misty is like a greyish colour got the name from his colour and Miss and Peanut I think they're a good two and a half years old um, Peanut bites if you hold him for too long so I won't hold him for too long he gets very nervous but I think they're two and a half years old I think Peanut is Peanut is like a chestnut colour and it's really cute on his forehead he's got a white dot on his forehead it's so cute but he gets very scared he's already starting to bite so I'm gonna put him down but Peanut is definitely much scarier than Misty, but they have a lovely cage and they actually go in my room, which is they're one of the few ones that actually live in my room, purely because they're also noisy and everything. But these guys aren't noisy. And they love their coconut heart. They always sleep in their coconut heart when I refill, oh, Misty's tail. They always sleep in their coconut heart when I refill their hay heart. I put a load of hay in here, I fill it up to the brim, they kick half it out, and then there you go. Here's their new bed. But when all the hay gets, when they eat all the hay and kick all the hay out, they start sleeping in their big ball of fluff down at the bottom of the cage. So that's Mr. and Peanut, I think. Well, I think they're two years old. I think they might be two and a half, I don't know. Two, two and a half, or three. I don't know, something along those lines, but they are getting on for their age. So that's Mr. and Peanut. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching this video. I do just want to remind you one thing, that there is going to be a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so please go subscribe, I would really appreciate it, because if you do, you might actually win something, and I, hope, I don't know what it's going to be, but you'll win something, maybe, there's a good chance you will. So I just want to say thank you, and I hope to see you next video, so bye!